So there was a whole bunch of research that had gone on uh, before the research I carried out. But people were looking more at the structure of the, the limpet tooth, which is very clearly a composite structure of fibers in a, in a natural plastic. But I was really inspired looking at these limpets because they actually have a very unique way to feed on, on, in their natural environment. So the limpets actually sit on rock surfaces and their food is typically algae that sits away from the body on the rock surface. So the limpets come up with a really uh, ingenious way of, of trying to feed. So it opens its mouth and rolls out this tongue-like appendage called a radula. So it's a really long, long uh, appendage. And underneath this, this radula are rows of the limpet's teeth. And the limpet rolls in the radula so that the teeth scratch on the rock surface and, and really scrape the food towards the mouth of the limpet in a process called rasping. And it's the strength of those teeth, if you like, that, 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 that have all this potential. Absolutely. So when I actually learned about how limpets w were feeding, I thought, wow, this must be uh, a, f a fantastic material that limpets are using in their teeth because it has to resist this, this scraping over rock surfaces day after day. They, they couldn't afford to have the teeth break because then they, they can't feed and they, and they die off. So this was really something that motivated me as an engineer to try and examine the strength of these limpet teeth. It, it sounds a fascinating discovery and so much potential, but we in this country are great at making these discoveries and never actually making something of it. So what is your plan? How are you going to make this your product? Well, absolutely. Um, and I think, firstly, nature is wonderful uh, inspiration because it uses a whole range of designs to solve particular problems, such as having something that's very high strength. And of course, um, engineering companies, manufacturing, they use composite structures to build things such as bike frames or aircraft structures or even Formula One cars. So really it's about trying to learn the design principles in nature, so understanding where the strength comes from in the limpet tooth, which is what the, the research really, really covers, and then translating those design principles to a, a manufacturing system. And indeed, the University of Portsmouth has a future technology center, which is really trying to look at, at the new technologies of the, of the future and how to take these design principles and make something for our society that's better than, than the existing structures that we have.